Remote play has actually been a feature that has been with us pretty much the same time frame as cloud gaming, but remote play allows you to play the games that are installed on your console. These are games that you actually own. So whether they're on Game Pass or not, doesn't really make a difference. This is just an expansion of you being able to play the games wherever you want, with whomever you want, on whatever device that you want. So let's find out how to do this. Before we look at how to set this up, there's one setting you need to make sure your Xbox is set to, and that is standby mode. This means that you would still have remote functionality when you want to do things like remote play. So with that set, all you need from here is a mobile device or a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 PC. Let's first take a look at the PC. On the PC, go ahead and launch the Xbox app. If you don't have it installed, download that from the store. Sign in with the same username and login that you have on your Xbox. And in the top corner, the top bar, you'll see this little icon that kind of looks like it's trying to look for something, like a sonar, if you will. I'm doing these motions, hoping that you understand that this is like a ping. Anyways, this will allow you to find all of your Xboxes that are on standby mode and are ready for remote play. You choose whichever Xbox you want to remote into, and you're done. Here, you have the ability to connect a controller, and this plays almost exactly like if you were to do Xbox Cloud Gaming. You are doing it not necessarily from the cloud because you're literally playing your Xbox. This does mean, however, that if somebody is on your Xbox currently, you won't be able to use it simultaneously. But at least if you're away on holiday and you want to get that Destiny raid in or something to that effect, you literally have no excuse anymore. And with the latest gen controller, you have the ability to either Bluetooth into the computer, connect it via a USB type C cable, or even the dongle. Try the dongle. Now let's talk about how it works on a mobile device. Here, we're gonna take a look at it on an iPhone, but this does also work on iPad, on an Android tablet. And again, all you need to do is use the Xbox app. Now this is where it's a little bit different. You remember that little icon on the desktop where it was like reverberating? Look for that on the Xbox app, tap that, choose and select which Xbox that you wanna stream. And then the next step will say, you want to remote login to this Xbox. And really the only other requirement you need, whether you're on a mobile device or a Wi-Fi connected PC is a 10 megabit download speed. That's it. So let me ask you, what game would you play with this methodology on a daily basis if you couldn't play directly from your console? Let us know in the comment section down below. Links as always can be found in the description below. If you like this content, make sure you thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel. So until the next time, y'all take care of yourselves and each other. Want to learn more? Check out Expert Zone, Microsoft's online learning platform. Take courses, complete accreditations, and earn achievements and prizes like codes for Microsoft 365 Family, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, and more.